Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 163. I want to start with these three Colorex colors from PBO. These are watercolors, so I will need to use a lot of water. So I'm protecting my journal however I can from the colors from seeping through everywhere. I'm starting with lots of water and then adding the color here and there. I took out my honeycomb stencil, the large version of it, and then matching colors in the distress inks so that I could intensify the color here and there, but giving it a certain shape. And because it is distressing, I can have some fun with it and move it around with water. I did the same thing on the other side where I only had the Colorex because it's water ink, so it reacts just as well as the distress inks, and now I have a similar kind of effect on both sides. This is my Driving Me Circle stencil, the large version of it, and then using some uh, white chalky paint, I'm adding some accents all over. I was in a real let's use all the stencils kind of day because after that I took out my to the moon and back stencil and I took out two things. Um, I took out some white crackle paint as well as some gesso and applied it just with my finger in a very very thin layer mixing both. So on this side I'm working only with gesso and that is the white crackle paint so that I would have several kinds of effects when it would dry. To define my circles a bit more, I added uh, some shading to them using a charcoal pencil and a blending stump. When you see my hands go like that, it's because I'm explaining stuff to my patrons. They had the extended version of this video. So if you would like the extended version as well, you can check out my Patreon page and the link is in the description of this video. 
And here I was showing the difference in texture. So the camera picks it up very, very slightly. You can see that some circles are completely smooth and some are very slightly crackled. Going in with my little, little numbers, that's a hard thing to say. Going in with my little numbers. <laughs> Usually I add my numbers on the edges of the spread and this time I decided to center everything in the middle of the spread. And to accentuate these circles even more I went in with a Unipen pen just doodling around them in a very irregular way. Of course, my circles need some shading. I wouldn't be me if I wouldn't be doing that. But to keep it very, very light, I'm going in with a new color too, which is water soluble. But considering I'm working on gesso and on the white crackle paint, it will only leave me a very, very light shading. I'm not working on paper or on something absorbent. So it's, it remains very, very light. And that is what I wanted because I did not want my circles to become um, too intense as far as the color is concerned. I do like that the color from the background is peeking through though. And then I'm repeating the step even more light handed, this time with a black new color and really staying on one side of the circles. These are my Butterfly Whispers mixed media stickers and the wording that I chose for that spread is blowing my own mind because, well, yes, I had been blowing my own mind. Don't ask. This is a leftover piece of paper from another project where I use the same Colorex uh, colors. So I decided to use that one as a background for my wording to make it stand out from the rest of the spread. I wanted to give my wording a little bit more texture underneath, so I tested two several pieces of cambric and decided to go for the white one, because toning down was the message here. I gave my wording the same kind of shading as I did on the spread for the circles, going in with a charcoal pencil and a blending stump and then distressing the edges just with my scissors. As the wording was still looking a little bit too crisp, I went in with one of my Rock and Rust stencils and some grey memento ink, and then adding some doodling as well. I'm just using decoupage glue from DecoArt to sticking everything down and I thought it might be funny to glue down the word with some 3D foam and to have it pop. Yeah, I thought it would be funny, but then I started to realize that when I would be working on the other side of the paper that would so annoy me <laughs> that I just took it all back off again. And I decided I also wanted to add some grungy stamping behind the wording. So toning down is good till a certain point. Then I added some doodling around the spread in a very loose way, which is something that I really like to do uh, lately because it softens everything 
while giving it a frame. And it's a nice contrast with the very um, strict circles that I like to draw. So of course I had to add my journaling around it and that's it. I hope you liked today's spread. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a new video next Thursday. I'll see you there. Butterfly kisses. Thank you.